Adding data to REDCap is very straightforward. Log in as per the previous video and go to the project homepage. On the left hand side of the screen, you will see the menu data collection. To add patient data, click add edit records. There are three short forms for collecting data. These are listed on the left hand side. Demographics, meaning patient details at baseline. Operation, the details of the procedure the patient underwent. And follow up, the outcomes following the procedure. Further help with data entry is available by clicking the video link in the top right hand corner of the screen. It may be that you would rather collect data on paper and then enter it into the system at a later time. By clicking download PDF of instrument, you can collect, you can download this form, the demographics form, or all the forms by clicking the appropriate link. The forms include all the necessary details you will need for the data points. To enter data, click add new record. You will see that a record ID has been automatically generated. Uh, this should not be changed. The patient ID is the identifier used by your hospital for that individual patient. I'm going to put in as an example here 12 12 13 1 2 4 3. Complete the other data points. If your patient is less than two years old, by putting 0 or 1 into the age box, an extra box will open up allowing you to complete uh, the com total number of months of that patient. So if I have someone who's 18 months old, I put in 18 months. The gender of the patient, this in this case male, the American Society of Anesthesiologists score for how unwell the patient is. This was a healthy patient, I'm putting in one. Uh, they have not had diabetes and they have never smoked. Uh, was an emergency CT scan performed prior to this patient being taken to the operating theatre and in this case they were and I'm going to click yes. If all the data points have been completed then change the complete box to complete and click save record. You will see in the left hand column that the demographics form has now turned green showing that the data is complete. By clicking Record Status Dashboard, uh, you can see all the patients that you have collected data for and which have incomplete records. There are different ways to identify records in order to add further information. The easiest is to click on Record Status Dashboard and then the form which you wish to complete for an individual patient. So I'm now going to complete the operation form for this patient. Date of operation was today. Uh, we performed the operation during the day and the patient had been in the hospital for between 6 and 11 hours prior to the start of surgery. We used the World Health Organization surgical safety checklist at the beginning of the procedure. The most senior surg surgeon present was medically qualified and a surgeon and had been so for greater than five years. The anaesthetist was an anaesthetic specialist rather than uh, an individual with no specific anaesthetic training and had been an anaesthetist for greater than five years. It was a general anaesthetic performed through a midline incision. The operation performed was a laparotomy with no other procedure, so it was a negative laparotomy. Because of that, there was no bowel resection performed, there was no stoma formed, and we did not find any abnormality. So the diagnosis was no disease identified negative laparotomy. Supplementary oxygen was used. A pulse oximeter was also used. We gave prophylactic antibiotics, did not need to give blood, but blood is available in our hospital, and gave both heparin and mechanical DVT prophylaxis and that is complete uh, record for that form. To complete this record I'll fill in the follow-up form. 
It is unlikely in most cases that these three forms will be completed at the same time. The primary outcome measure is 24 hours mortality. Was the patient alive 24 hours for, uh, after completion of the procedure? For our patient, they were alive. Was the patient alive 30 days after the primary procedure? Now, it may be that ideally we should know that the patient is either alive or dead at 30 days, but in some particularly developing world settings, the patient may be discharged and it is not known for sure whether they are alive at 30 days or not. The appropriate uh, box should be completed. Did the patient require a re-intervention within 30 days? Was that endoscopic? Was it radiology, the x-ray department? Was it in theatre with local anaesthetic or in theatre with a general anaesthetic? And this patient did not require any re-intervention. Did the patient have a major complication leading to critical care or intensive care admission within 30 days of the primary operation? Now it may be that uh, your hospital does not have critical care facilities or that those were not available for this particular patient. If a complication occurred that warranted critical care admission but the facilities were unavailable, there is a box to complete that. Uh, so this patient uh, did not have a complication leading to uh, 30 day, uh, within 30 days leading to critical care admission. Did the patient have a different complication which did not result in a critical care admission, re-intervention or death within 30 days of the primary operation? Uh, and this patient had a wound infection. The wound infection was opened at the side of the bed. Now, although that is a minor surgical procedure, it doesn't count as a re-intervention. It's the only re-intervention which does not count. So I'm going to click yes for that box. Because of the wound infection, the patient's uh, discharge was delayed, so they were in uh, hospital for 12 days. Uh, they did not have an anastomotic leak because there was no anastomosis performed. Uh, they did have a wound infection, so I'm clicking yes. Uh, they did not have an intra-abdominal uh, or pelvic abscess. And all the data on that form is complete, so I'm now changing that to complete, and I'm clicking save record. And that completes the Add Data section. Click on the following videos uh, for how to actually view your data and export your data.